Welcome back to another edition of Man Cave Astronomy. Um, today we got our collimation stuff in the mail, and it's Monday, uh, January 14th, and uh, we got our we got one another one of our feathering rings in for our eyepiece. But I got my uh, four point laser pointer and the two inch Cheshire, um, and I just wanted to make a quick video on uh, I've I've looked over everything. Everything looks really good, and uh, I'm actually in the process of removing my center spot on my primary, and I was just going to give you a quick look at that. As soon as I get the center spot removed, we're going to I'm going to go ahead and wash the mirror and um, and everything, and I'll I'll either take a little video of that real quick, or probably I'm just going to kind of go in detail on what I'm going to do. It's really not that that big of a thing, but um, but anyway, I'm going to pan you down here. So you guys can see what I'm doing. You can see the center spot there um, on the primary. And let me move you up a little closer. There you go. You can see the, the center spot there. And basically all I've done, I've dug around. I, didn't, I couldn't find any rubbing alcohol or uh, fingernail polish remover. But rubbing alcohol is pretty much the same thing. But I did have a whole bunch of these little, these little alcohol prep. Uh, little pads and really I'm not I'm not really touching the mirror. I'm just kind of squeezing this stuff out and You know just putting a little dab of it on there for whatever I can get out of it um, Should pretty much be the same as using a, a q-tip um, You can see I just opened one of these guys up just Squeeze a drop out right there in the center and it'll saturate the sticker and uh and we're just, I'm just letting that kind of, let that rubbing alcohol just kind of work its way in. Um, I'm trying not to let it, you know, just very carefully here. I'm trying not to let it sit on the actual mirror too awful much. You can see where the, the coloring and the sticker starting to come out. Um, I don't think, I don't think the, the alcohol will hurt it. Um, you know, versus fingernail polish. I don't really think there's a whole lot of difference there, fingernail polish or rubbing alcohol, but. Um, you want to be a little careful. I wouldn't let it just sit on there and sit on there. Um, I've been doing this for probably about five minutes now. And that sticker should be about ready to come off, I would think. And if you've got, of course, anybody but me probably has just some rubbing alcohol fingernail polish remover. If not, just go get your little 99 cent bottle of it. And just fill the cap up. Dab in your little Q-tip bud in there. And just sit here and just go around that and just saturate it as you go around it. And uh, that should should take care of it and do like I'm doing here and just, just get that sticker good and wet. And, yep, yeah, you can see it's starting to, it's wanting to try to come off. Let me just ever so nice and easily get a little spot of it pulled up there. And take your toothpick very carefully. Just like that. And that is how you remove your center spot. And uh, that uh, rubbing alcohol definitely does a good job. Now, I've also got some of these little uh, these gauzes. I've got a whole big pack of these things. I'm just going to take, now that I've got my center spot off, take these, these gauzes and just fold them up like that. And just ever so carefully just kind of rub the mirror just a little bit. And we can start to... A few little scratches on the mirror. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use that. And just, I've got a microfiber little towel here. I'm going to take my finger and just very lightly just kind of swirl that around there. See, I've got fingerprints all over this thing. I'm just gonna 
kind of wipe off that. Can't tell if that's those are really fine scratches. Those are hairs. I think they're really fine little scratches on here. It looks like somebody's maybe messed with this thing before, but um, I don't think the rubbing alcohol should have done that, but should have made that glass soft or anything to to scratch it, but. So there you go, your center spot's removed, and I can just barely see, I think that gauze actually was scratching the, the glass. That's surprising, because that's it's pretty soft, but probably use Q-tip uh, would probably be the best, the next best thing. Mm -hmm. It does, it's a little, just very, ever so very tiny little scratch marks on it. So don't use gauze, use a, probably cotton buds, um, cotton balls. You'd probably be just fine to do. And Or uh, one of these microfiber towels. Um, if anybody's got any of the, uh, they're really fine for cleaning light. Um, what is that? One of these clean screening kits for these LCD uh, LED TVs uh, is probably the best thing to really use. Because I use this to to clean my uh, my TVs, my LEDs, LED TVs and stuff, and you can see it just takes that stuff right off. And that solution's pretty good um, if you want to try to. To actually just use that to clean your primary. Um, I am going to actually wash this in the sink. I'm going to take and put it in the sink, run some, uh, run some, uh, just some, just some warm, not hot, just warm water. Put a little dab of soap in the center of it, and uh, and let that go. Um, and just let that water run. It'll loosen up some of all this stuff. And uh, and then you can just take your hand ever so carefully. Um, I've got a set. Of, I've got some gloves I'm gonna use because my hands are, are fairly rough. Um, but you just take your your hands or, or in some gloves or something. Just kind of just really really carefully just just kind of wipe over it. Um, and you'll feel any little pits of, of you know stuff on there. And you'll just get that off and soak it down good, and then you'll take it out and set it up um, against the, the back of the sink or something. And just let it air dry, and then take your your little hand towel here and uh, and just just spot dry any little spots that are on it. So that's the plan as far as washing this thing. And then once we get it washed, we'll uh, we'll uh, put it all back together and. Uh, or we're gonna we're gonna center spot it next once we get it washed. I'm gonna make sure it's good and clean, and then I'm gonna center spot it, and because uh, I want to make sure the glass surface is good and clean for putting the the sticker on, so the sticker here is good to the glass. And then once we've done that, then we'll put it all back together, and then we'll um, we'll put it back in the in the tube, and um, and then we'll start doing the the collimation on the scope. So um, I'll be back whenever we get ready to do the the center spotting.